Hello everybody and um, welcome to CDMP. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. bad at intros too. So again, hello everybody. Let's just and say happy. Well, sorry. Hello everybody <laughs> and happy post Valentine's Day. So we didn't celebrate Valentine's Day yesterday because uh, we reached a point where we don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, uh, that's how things are. All right. <laughs> However, maybe because you know, it's just been... a consumeristic holiday. They just came up with it. Doesn't mean anything. Exactly. I mean, we also uh, were supposed to celebrate our fifth anniversary. Okay, so if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that Valentine's Day is also our anniversary day because we kind of realized we were girlfriends on Valentine's Day. So to make things simple, we just said, okay, that's our anniversary. Yes. Um, but we, we knew celebrate. each other. We knew each other a year before we started like being together. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, we're six years together, yes. knowing each that's other. Let's say that, yeah. So, spending time together for so many years with your partner, then things become kind of a routine. But the love is there, <laughs> still. <laughs> so, um, we came up with this idea and see, actually, after so many years we've been together, do we really know each other, like in terms of mon mundane things? So we found a quiz, a test, and we're gonna take that test today together with you guys and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So the first question is, what's your partner's least favorite body part? Don't show me the answer. Okay. Okay, just hold it up. Okay. Yes. So for you, yeah. I wrote down hands. Oh no, I thought that! I thought that it came to my mind and I thought if I write that and I'm wrong, it's really mean, so I throw out hands. Damn it! No, my least favorite body part is my ass. I was gonna say that, I've but never then I like my bad. ass. You know? um, for some reason. Anyway, and uh, your least favorite body you part got it right. is breasts. Yeah, I hate. I hate them. I wish I didn't have them. So let's call this. So, so P1, Sadie 0. Okay. Second question. When your partner was a child, what did they want to be when they grew up? <laughs> uh, You're yeah. not going to get this. <laughs> okay, I had two. I'll write down both. If, if you get either one right, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to write two as well. Two. You go first. This time. So you either wanted to be a dog walker or a hairdresser. Wrong and wrong. <laughs> Shit. What is it? I wanted to be an archaeologist or a diver. It's true. Because I was watching. I was me. like, I want to dig the sand and it's find true. treasure. Oh, man. <laughs> How did I forget that? Oh my gosh. Um, what about me? I wrote down you want to be a cowboy or a scientist. A cowboy scientist? No. A cowboy, never know. <laughs> you a scientist? Like You're close. On I horses. wanted to be a. Yeah, I like like the horses and and, and, and like cowboy okay. movies, but I didn't want to be a cowboy. When he wants to be a cowboy as an adult, did. it's not even a profession. But anyway, <laughs> it's not a profession. No, I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> Remember that I saw I I, I was so I even, intrigued by the moon landing, I which was before. I, I was thought Warcraft. about that, but then I thought no. But you always say you would hate going out of space. So. Now, oh shit, that's yeah. I wanted to be when an you astronaut. Were young. Okay. Okay. So, zero, zero? Yeah. Name a country your partner would love to visit. Okay. As an adult, right? Not as a child. Yeah. Okay. Is it someplace we've never been before or we have been before? No, let's do where we haven't been before okay. that we would like to go. Okay? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So, for you, I wrote down, you want to go to Iceland or Norway? No. What do you always say that? It's you always true. say that it's every time. True. You're like, let's go to Iceland. I'm like, no, it's That's cold. True. What did you write? <laughs> no, actually I actually write Philippines and Ireland. You've never well Ireland you've said. Yeah, I You said always Ireland. say Norway and Iceland. It's true, style. it's true. You know what? It, it's it's true because sometimes you <laughs> know fine. me better. So they, they say that uh, I can decide if I give you the point oh, in really? this case. Yeah. Okay. Do you give me the point? I put I give you the point. Oh thank you. Because it's true. Okay, what did you write so, for me? UK or Ireland? No. No! You always say that you wanna be UK. <laughs> I wrote down Thailand and Fiji. Really? Because it's like you always say place. I don't want to travel so far. Well, I don't. But if you're saying traveling, I don't want to go anywhere. 
but places I would like to be, if I could teleport, I would rather go to Thailand or Fiji. Alright, so I score zero. <laughs> Should I be nice and give you the point? No, but no. no, I don't want to go. I've been no. to London, I don't like okay. it very much. Okay. Oh, that's right, you've been there. Yeah, okay. And I don't like cold, so... Next. Did your partner have a nickname as a child? Mm. What was it? Okay. Um, I even told you once. Okay, well, we'll see if I get it right. Okay. Do you want to go first? So, your nickname is Sedefica? Yeah. Yes! And my nickname? Paulina? No. <laughs> Actually, Paulina is a nickname that I gave to myself, but what my friends used to call me, remember? Takinatsa, which is like a turkey, takino turkey. Oh my god, I, could, I wouldn't be able to remember the, that word. Yeah. Takina. Why did they call you a turkey? I don't know, because they thought that I looked like a turkey. And now I call you like a chicken. Exactly. <laughs> I belong to that family, I'm telling you. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's your spirit animal. But did you like the nickname? No. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't think so. Yeah. Anyway, so, so you think... got a point and I didn't get any points. Mm. Which of your partner's aunts or uncles are they closest to? You have like 10. <laughs> <laughs> True, but you know, you know their names. Yeah. Do you know any of my I'm giving you aunts or uncles' hint. names? Okay, just. I can tell you, I guess. can tell you, okay. okay. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. So I wrote down for you your Zia Elia. Yeah, yeah, they are my, my closest. I got it right? Yeah. Yay! So sorry. And what, what did you write? Uh, Sandra and Linda's mom. Yeah, of course. What's her name? Etty. 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 Yeah. Etty. E-T-I. E <laughs> so we scored both of us. Very good. Next. Which of your partner's achievements are they most proud of? Yeah. Your own achievement, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Go first. I mean, there are many, so I chose like the most mundane ones. Okay. What? You're supposed to... What? It's not to say the most mundane, the, you're most proud of. Because there is the most mundane okay. and the deeper the ones. The most proud of, I wrote down for you, mm. that is your operat operatic trilogy. Yes. That's good. You got it. Really? Yeah. She made these like operatic music videos and then she's really proud of it. I'm really proud of that. It feels like I wish proud. I could link it below, but I think it's not up. Is it? Is it on YouTube? Mm, no. Is it on Vimeo? Yeah. Just the trailer or like the full thing? The trailer. You should put the full thing up on, I on should. YouTube yeah. so people can watch it. For okay. you is making the stable for the little ponies. Um, no, I said my YouTube channel. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't know that actually. You, you know, didn't? it was, yeah. Because well, you don't, you never really talk about it, you just do it. Right, but like I've been working on it for a long time. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, All right. Okay. Zero. I don't think you get the point. No, I don't get it. I mean, my no. staple, like, come on. It was like a two day project. Anyway. <laughs> What's your partner's least favorite housework task? Oh, I have one. You wanna go first? I put two, two. Okay. Two, two. Okay, let's see if we get it. I put one each. Okay. Uh, for you is uh, dusting. No. And washing, di washing dishes. No, you wanna know the real one? Yeah. It's cleaning the toilet. Because oh. I have OCD. I get so grossed out. Oh, shoot. Sure. I hate cleaning toilets. And for me? Going downstairs to the laundry? Ah, you're right. Because you never do that. You hate it. You're I right. do it all the time. Actually, that's true right now. Because it's not in general. For me, in general, it's vacuum or mopping the floor. Ah. Well, if you don't want to give me the point, you don't have I to. I give you the point, actually, because it's yeah. true. You know, it's, it's, that's, I hate it. One, zero. She's. I know you well. Yeah. You didn't know Damn, I, hate I have to But did you know I hate cleaning the toilet? Did you know that? Uh, yes, I knew. I oh. should have put that. I actually thought about it. All right. Okay. Name mm -hmm. two of your partner's grandparents. <gasps> Wait. Oh, come on. Your grandparents. Your mom's a mom. Yeah. I don't know yours. Oh, no. <laughs> Can we skip this? I don't know any of them. Yeah, because, you know, Italian names, Turkish names. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, zero, no, zero. No, zero, zero. <laughs> what is your grandparents' name? Mario Maria. No, that's oh, your mom. Dad, oh, Raffaella, Raffaele. 
Rafaela and Rafael. Yes. Oh my God, that's so weird. Yeah. Because my grandfather's name is Rafael, but no. we call him Rafat, and my grandma's name is Sara. This is super Jewish names. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we? Outside of their career, what's something your partner considers themselves naturally talented at? Mm. Mm. I put two. Okay. Your career, let's say, is YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll write down one for you. I'll write down two for you as well. What am I talented to that? I feel nothing. No, you're I'm... really talented. I always tell you, oh, you're so talented at this. You always... Really? That's your natural talent. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. I don't know myself. <laughs> I wrote down a funny one too. Go ahead. So what did you write for me? Knitting or singing? I wrote down, yeah, music and painting. I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. Um, what about me? I wrote down uh, comedy and impromptu dancing and singing and sneezing really loud. Dancing, yeah. I put you dancing. wrote dancing? Yeah, so we got it. Okay. I think you're really funny. You get, you don't give yourself credit for that? You're <laughs> always making us laugh. All right. Okay, good. You're a clown. Yeah, I yeah. am. It's like I'm your very... talent. Yeah, <laughs> I said, no, it's my talent. I should have thought about it. <laughs> what else? Um, what's your partner's favorite smell? Oh, this is interesting mm. one. Let's see if we get it right. Favorite smell? Yeah, I have a very specific one. You'll have to get it right. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it in the kitchen? It's coming, <laughs> is it coming from the kitchen? Just, <laughs> just kidding. No, it's like a pleasant smell. It can't be garlic. Come on. But it can be coffee. Oh, it, like that could be, yeah. But like, come on. My, I have a specific one. Oh, you, do you have a specific one? She has a specific Okay, I wrote down two for you. So you can write down two for me. If you I don't even know. You don't know one? Oh, okay. I wrote one. Okay. For you is my perfume. Is one of your favorites. You're so narcissistic. No, it's not your perfume. You Actually, say I like it. I no, like it. I like it on you, but it's not my favorite smell. And oh, is it? when you put too much, I like drowning in it. I feel What's like your favorite smell? Lavender. Do you remember when we were in Vancouver and I was like I know. smelling them like I know, crazy? I like, know. oh, if I had a garden, I would plant lavender. <laughs> For you, I, I wrote so down. Good. Okay. I wrote down bergamot. Oh my gosh, it's actually too... I, I, I wrote down bread when I make my own bread and I like the, the smell, but really what I really like is the bergamot f flavor from the tea. And right. I've always said that in front yeah. of you because I've never said that. So I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> You're going to give it to me? I mean, I don't know her <laughs> and I don't know myself. <laughs> That's how bad is that? Okay. What is your partner's favorite flavor of ice cream? Do you, yeah. do you want to do this? Because uh, no, you don't eat ice cream. Exactly, no. Let's skip, let's skip. Try to, try to guess mine. Vanilla and chocolate. Yeah, it's vanilla. Anyway. Okay, good. Um, what is a personality trait your partner dislikes about themselves and what they share with a parent? What's a personality trait you dislike about yourself that you share with one of your parents? Um, so you okay. got it from your mom or your dad. Okay. You want to go first or should I go first? Yeah. For me, it's being hypochondriac like my mom. <gasps> I wrote spaced out and ADD like your dad. That's also, that's also, it's also true. You, I, I give you the point. You do? Yeah. And okay. for you, for being me. a perfectionist or OCD like your father. Yeah, OCD yes. like so my dad. So we, we, we both won. Yeah. How did your partner spend their summers as a child? Oh, this is a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see if I get it right. Okay. So for you, yeah. I wrote down going to the beach and riding your bike. Yeah. Did I get it right? Well, riding my bike actually was all year long. Going to the beach, it was in the summer, yes. Oh, okay. So did I get it right? Yeah. Half point? One. Okay. <laughs> and uh, for you, being Bukada and uh, or staying home and doing nothing all day. <laughs> And uh, just never going out. Okay, I'll give it to you because I wrote in the house doing puzzles. Oh, okay. I really hated summer when I was a kid. Does your partner consider themselves more like their mother or their father in terms of personality? Mm. In what way? Didn't we kind of do this already? I wrote down like your dad uh, because yes. of the ADHD. Yes, yeah. hyperactive. Yeah. yeah. And I wrote down like your father because yeah. you're very calm and you want to chill out, relax. Yeah, I wrote down my dad too, but I wrote more like obsessive, compulsive, and perfectionist. Yeah. 
But yeah, those I mean, aspects too. Yeah. We're both like our dads. Yeah. That's great. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the last question is, what purchase is your partner currently considering? What's on their wish list? Is there something that we, you wish? Mm -hmm. On my wish list? Yeah. No. Not even me. So let's keep this. Okay. <laughs> um, you don't want to buy anything. No. Okay, okay, so let's count the point. Let's count the points. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for you. Oh and eight is our lucky number. It's true. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's amazing. So it means that uh, we we know each other. Eight out of what though? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight out of twelve. I think that uh, overall you know me better than I do. No, I think we know each other both really well. <laughs> we... mm, I don't know. I miss the lavender smell. You did. But anyway. But do you kind of know that? Did you already I kind, kind of, of knew, knew that? that. I mean, I, I wasn't sure though. It's more like a lack of the memory, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, okay. it wasn't coming. Now you Let's know. say that. So anyway, that's it. That's it for today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, just do it with your partners and let, let us know down in the comments if you know, know each other and after how many years, you know, and how you spend your Valentine's Day. We didn't do much. We just watched The Guilt Trip with Barbara Streisand. Mm -hmm. It was, it was like very cozy. good. I've never watched that one. I love Barbara Streisand. Yeah, me too. Okay. See you next Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye.